Hello, welcome back boys and gals. Today's story is called Do Not Wish for Pet Ostrich. Written by Serena Sibanella, illustrated by Gabby Correa. Now this wonderful book is about a sweet little girl who got a little more than she bargained for. Now let's see what happens. Let's get started. My parents once said that I could pick out a pet, but it had to be one that I will never regret. Now once, Sally picked wrong when she chose a cute pup, and now she can't find a shoe that has not been chewed up. And Tom has a cat that he says is too lazy. Just snoozing all day makes everyone crazy. And my teacher's pet parrot at first seemed so fun, but it chatters so much that she gets nothing done. Shh, Eureka! I shouted, I know what I'll get. An ostrich will be the best pet that I can get. <laughs> so I wished on a straw, shooting off in the night, and I wished for an ostrich with all of my minds. Oh, star, shining star, make my wishes come true. Please send me a bird like the ones in the zoo. And please, will you give him a long skinny neck? And also, please give him a beak that will peck. And then, asleep I went. And I woke up to check. It's here! It's here! I cried out as it pegged at my neck. It looked at me blankly. My wish had come true! Now what will I do? What will I do? Breakfast? I pondered. Now what do you eat? Popcorn? Spaghetti? Hmm. Marshmallows? Meat? His appetite, as you've probably guessed had me running to find more for him to digest. Apples! I cheered while collecting them all. And then I carefully stacked them because he is so tall. And I sat in my chair to observe and to wait as he scuffed down all the apples, all 78. Oh, oh, oh. So I called the vet, Dr. Wally Kazo. The apples are stuck. Doctor, what should I do? Oh no, Dr. Wally Kazo said in shock. Go, get him some butter, a big one pound block. The apples will smoothly go down his long throat. And this has worked for a monkey, a pig and a goat. So I shoved all the butter right into his beak. And the apples went down as I snuck into pig. <coughs> Ew. Mm. 
Hmm. What next? I know. An ostrich is as active. We'll get some fresh air. What a beautiful day. And we can go anywhere. Now, an ostrich might like a come stroll at the zoo. Or maybe instead, some light jogging will do. So I put on his leash. And he ran out the door. And then behind him, I flew. Boy, this pet is a chore. And then after our run, we both sat down to rest. And he quickly became my celebrated guest. And the crowd just went wild for an ostrich to touch. And he started to run. He was ready to leave. So I started to beg. Oh, come on. Will you please? But he just wouldn't listen. Although I was pleading, he carried on running. Till soon, he was speeding. So I chased him right past the giraffe and on past the hippo and raccoon and then a baboon. I finally caught him and I captured him quick but I was exhausted. Now this ostrich was slick. I know where to take you. I said with a smile. We'll go to the beach and we'll stay for a while. I think you just need a nice calm place to play. We can go for a swim and build castles all day. But instead, he just planted his head in the sand. I couldn't believe it. It's not what I planned. So I sat and I waited and waited and then he lifted his head and was running again. That's it. An ostrich, I thought, cannot run in a home. He must be in nature to romp and to roam. So I wished on a star shooting off in the night and wished at that moment with all of my might. Oh, star, shining star. Make my wishes come true. Please take my pet ostrich right back to the zoo. Please send him away with his long skinny neck. Please send him right back with that pig that will peck. And the very next morning, I stretch with a yawn. My wish had come true. My pet ostrich was gone. And as I dressed, I decided it was all for the best. Because now I have time for my next special guest. Now I'll visit my friend at the big city zoo. And I'll bring him some apples. But only a few. And then I'll wish on a star. Shooting off in the night. And I wish for a unicorn with all of my might. The end. What a wonderful, wonderful story. 
Now, boys and girls, let's have some fun learning what we've read. Can you go back to the story and find words that rhyme? Now, how many animals can you find in the story? What got stuck in the throat of the ostrich? And what did the little girl give the ostrich to make him better? How many apples did the ostrich eat? And what pet does the teacher have in the story? What part of the story was your favorite? Why? And what did the little girl wish for at the end of the story? Now, if you could make a magical wish for a pet, what would it be? Thank you for joining us again for this wonderful story. We thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you soon.